Several universities around the country are struggling to cope with thousands of applicants who are flocking there. And the Cape Chamber of Commerce says it's deeply concerned about the lack of information on ESCOM's possible load shedding. I'm Richard Brooks. Several universities around the country are struggling to cope with thousands of applicants who are flocking there. Most tertiary institutions began their first year intake yesterday. Thousands of young people are still queuing outside the University of Johannesburg's Bunting Road campus. Parents are also desperately waiting outside the university with their children. Traffic officials are directing traffic through the restricted space. This is a repeat of last year's scenario when the university opened up a window of opportunity to matriculants who did not apply on time. The number of matriculants who have qualified for entry to tertiary institutions has increased to over 50% this year. Registration at UJ will only begin next month. Pearl Magubani is at the university and filed this report. Well, I must say that this line is getting longer and longer by the second. I mean, we have students here that have been camping out the whole night, you know, trying to make it to the front of the queue. But by the looks of things, you know, their plan did not work because they might be cut off. The line stretches from Bunting Road to Solomon Street, which leads to Bonfantine on Enoch Santonga. So it is extremely long. I must, it looks longer than yesterday's queue. The Cape Chamber of Commerce says it's deeply concerned about the lack of information on ESCOM's possible load shedding. The Chamber's President, Michael Bagrain, says although the power utility had informed them of possible load shedding in January and February, no specifics such as the duration and affected areas were given. We got a call from ESCOM advising us that there could be possibly load shedding right through the course of January up into including February. What we haven't received from them is the actual specifics of what's, what's actually taking place. Certainly it's not the deep of winter, so we're not experiencing enormous cold either. ESCOM spokesperson Henry Joffe has described Bagram's comments as misleading. Joffe says supply is tight in summer months as they undertake large-scale maintenance. She says at no point has the power utility indicated that there will be planned blackouts. Mr. Bagram is being a little mischievous here. Number one, we have not warned of load shedding. The system is very tight and uh, it is quite a challenge at the moment to balance supply and demand. But we are working hard to ensure that we can meet those challenges and do not have to resort to load shedding. We urge South Africans to work with us to save electricity. The Bombella Concession Company says it has put in place contingency plans to minimise the effects of the Gauteng bus drivers' strike. Bus services were disrupted in some parts of Gauteng yesterday because of the strike. The company says that drivers are demanding that Mega Express Bus Company provide them with transport service from their residences to the workplace every day. Spokesperson Kele Bukhile Machaka says management is currently negotiating with employee representatives. Areas that have been affected include the Johannesburg City Centre, Kempton Park, Fourways, Randburg, the Pretoria City Centre and Brooklyn.